Hi and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a very simple foundation behavior. We are going to take a look at how to teach your dog to sit on cue. I have with me today Nikoya, my trusty boxer. Why do we want to teach sit? Generally, we don't really have to teach sit. However, it's it's one of those behavior that is super easy to teach. It is, and it's one of those behaviors that most new dog owners default to because it's easy and because it's fun. So it's a super easy win. So we are going to take a look at how to teach it. To teach the sit, we are going to first reset our dog. Sit is easiest to teach when the dog is standing. It can get a bit mucky to start with the behavior when the dog is already lying down. So I am going to take a piece of snack here and reset her. The technique we're going to use is a simple lure technique. Um, when you lure your dog, you simply present them with a snack and you um, lure them into position. So you take the treat, put it to the nose, pull up, good girl. Right now I am looking for an approximation of the behavior. So any movement in the back of her body is absolutely fine. So, come on. Place the treat, good girl. She gave me a sit instantly and I really like that. So, reset your girl. Present the treat and lure into position. Good girl! If your dog only gives you an approximation of the behavior, that is means if she only gets down slightly like this, you can still mark and reward. Then you can increase criteria later on. When your dog gives you the behavior eight times out of 10. When you get that, you increase the behavior by saying, well, okay, I acknowledge that you are giving me this, but I'm really looking for this. So you're going to hold the mark and hold the reward and wait for your dog to just give a little more. So Nikoya, come along. You place the treat, you lure, good girl. And that is how we get the behavior. The next thing we need is to Add a gesture, a hand signal. This is something we're going to do the same way that we are actually teaching the behavior because the dog will follow the treat. So we are going to start with that, reset the dog, and then we are going to do the behavior without the treat. So she expects the treat here, so I'm going to place my hand there. Good, and reward her afterwards. Yeah. So, treats in your other hand, empty hand, lure, good girl, mark and reward. To put on the verbal cue, we are going to use the hand signal and add on the verbal cue. So what we are going to do is that we are going to have a super smart dog that picks up, <laughs> up on things really, really fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset her and I'm going to be a little faster this time. So we're going to give the verbal cue right before we do the hand signal. Okay? Come on. So she will come over and I will say, sit, hand signal, good girl. And mark and reward. So to add a verbal cue, you call over your dog. Nikoya? Can't find it? Ah, can't find it. Yeah! And verbal, sit, hand, mark and reward. That's how you teach a sit. It is a fairly simple behavior. And it is one that many dog owners have a lot of fun with. And if you have fun with it, go for it. Nikoya, 
Wanna try once more? I bet your dog will be just as smart. At some point you're going to want to fade out the hand signal and stick to the verbal. You may also want both and that's totally fine. But I'm going to show you here how you're going to face out the hand gesture. Good girl. And stick to the verbal. So reset the dog. And we are simply going to call over and say sit. And hope she does it. If she doesn't, you can do this. You can reset her. And you can call her over when she's done finding her treat. So you bring her over and you give the verbal and a slightly toned down version of the hand signal. So, Nikoya, sit. Good girl! If you noticed that my hand signal this time was simply a, as opposed to this, and she caught on really quick. Bring her over. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. And with enough repetition, she should be able to face out the hand signal altogether and get a verbal cue so and it should look sort of like this Nikoya sit good girl that was all for today and I am going to say thank you to Nikoya. She did a really, really, really good job. And your dog is going to do just as well as she did. So, thank you for watching. And happy training, everybody. Yeah, I know. Mama got snacks. <laughs>